Hey guys, long time no see. Today I want to show you a quick little tip of how I found out the um, debug interface of the Xiaomi Mi Band 4, 5 and 6 uh, with a neat little trick which makes your life easier if you ever need it on another project. It's not uh, only counting for the Xiaomi Band. It's in general for any unknown hardware you want to reverse and want to find the debug interface with any luck. So the main problem is that the PCB inside of these Xiaomi bands, bands is for once quite small and you see there are just many many test points and there is of course no documentation available to get the correct pin out. In this case it is an SWD interface. You have many more interfaces in the wild like JTAG or the ISP connection for AVR and so on. So let's get started. So here we got a disassembled PCB of the Mi Band 4 and you can see that there are just many many test points on them and you don't know which one of this is the SWD interface. The SWD interface consists of um, the SWD DIO, so the data line and the CLK, the clock line. So you just have two wires you need to find out in the correct polarity and in this case we have this Dialog DA14697 chip on and from its documentation you can see that it's yeah, working with the SWD interface. You could take such an ST-Link or what I did in my case is the um, genuine Sega J-Link EDU Mini. It's a non-commercial J-Link version and it's quite cheap. It's just yeah, not allowed to be used in a commercial application also. But that is just my hobby, so that's fine. Um, okay, what I did before was to solder on one wire of the uh, SWD interface, like uh, the Sega J-Link for example, and then use a so-called acupuncture needle and probe any pin. The problem then is that you need to open the Vega J Flash application, click on connect, wait till the connection finishes and if it's working or not is then shown. So you need to have one hand at your PC and one hand at the acupuncture needle. So I now thought about a better solution which you can kind of see here where we have the J-Link EDU, J-Flash however it is now called and I connected both acupuncture needles to clock and SVDIO or SWDIO and then we can probe one pin after another with the PCB till we find out the correct pins. The problem now is still that you need to click on connect on the J Flash software, but we are lucky that the software has a command line mode where you can automatically connect to it from the command line. And that's where I made a super simple Python script which will just simply pull the SWD interface and start the console uh, application of the Sega and will make a sound if it was um, successful connected or not. So this is basically the whole solution. You have this tiny PCB where I glued on the um, Sega adapter and the PCB itself with this 3M scotch 
tape and this is some double sided tape which is a little bit foamy and very tight so that thing isn't moving at all and then with the app running you can connect to each of these points and try every combination out with luck you will find this correct pinout and now I want to show you it in action so you see how it behaves when we now start to prop around on the PCB we can test each connection wait for the beep see if we have a successful connection and here we have it quite obvious that these tools are the correct one and you can see if I connect to them we hear the successful connection sound and if I connect to another one again we see it's the not connected sound again and if we go back to them we hear the successful sound and yeah have found the SWD wire this is still quite tedious work to probe every combination as the polarity is of course also uh, needed to be correct but still better than soldering one wire on clicking on connect and so on we can test in two seconds around about one position and yeah that's basically it how I reversed for once the band 5 the band 4 I was doing it really manually and on the band 6 for example we can see here we just have these few test points there I also just did it manually as we do not have much others to test and these are quite obvious the needed ones so I hope you can use this tip even if it was not too short the video and can use it on some other hardware in the future to find any debug pin out um, as we only have two hands it's mostly made for debug interfaces with just two wires or one wire but still for this type of work of work it's just perfect and yeah so simple yet so powerful solution i wish you a great day and see you next time